Trump defense attorney Alina Haba. I'm John Mike Keane, and we go over the good news for Trump. Let's watch Alina Haba. The reality of the situation is this case never should have been brought. Cy Vance passed on it. So did Alvin Bragg. But then the president decided to run for office. So that's why we are here. That's a brief history on Alvin Bragg rejecting this thing until Trump ran for office. Then suddenly they went in on him. That's because this is not justice. This is politics. We're going to get back to Alina Haba. But first, the Manhattan DA witch hunt against uh, me has been postponed because everyone realizes that there was no case. Tears Turley on Laura Ingram. Well, it was very surprising to see Judge Mershon in this letter suddenly have this epiphany that there's an election going on because uh, he showed no sensitivity towards the election when he had, in my view, a radically overbroad gag order and he kept uh, the leading candidate for the presidency in his courtroom. Jonathan Turley is bringing out a basic fact against Juan Mershon who says suddenly Suddenly, he doesn't want to influence the election. And so he's waiting to sentence Trump, moved it from this month to after the election. And he just goes in to show how disingenuous it is, because if Merchon cared, he wouldn't have brought this case in the first place, especially this late. And you can tell me in the comments below if you agree. My opinion is they thought it would hurt Kamala's ability to win the election if they sent Trump to prison that it could backfire on them and they didn't want to take the risk. Judge Mershon's decision today, while it does show some deference, is still flawed in my opinion because of one thing. Like you said, the Supreme Court, which is the highest court in this country, a country based on the Constitution, separation of powers, we have that in place for a reason. They said that a president is immune, and that's all presidents, not just President Trump, from these types of political or any, frankly, prosecution, persecution, civilly or criminally. So Alina Haba is going with the Trump basic immunity again. Here's uh, Chuck Callisto on Twitter over this leaked footage that Stephen Crowder put out about someone in the Bragg office saying the whole thing was a sham. Breaking now, leaked audio from Manhattan DA Alvin Bragg's office reveals Bragg stacked charges against Trump and the public affairs chief believes the charges were an overreach. Quote, to be honest with you, I think this case is nonsense, unquote, the guy said. Quote, every real estate person in New York does what Trump did. Nobody's been even charged with this, unquote. That's what he said when the when a private camera was on him and he was trying to impress a girl. He has since said, look, I lied just to impress the girl. But you know, you know how this works, guys. I mean, he, he revealed the true part, <laughs> the part in private out loud. It just took a pretty girl to shake it out of them. The voters now are going to be pretty much the largest jury in history. I mean, they're, what, what they decide on Election Day is likely to have a huge impact here. Um, it could very well destroy the federal cases of Jack Smith. He would never see the inside of a courtroom. But also, Mershon would be hard-pressed to impose a jail term if this is the president-elect. Jonathan Turley is right that now this election is really the trial for Trump. America's going to decide, are we going to prosecute political opponents merely for being opponents and make up laws or remove statute of limitations? Or are we going to reverse that form of evil totalitarian state. How will you guys vote? Let me know in the comments below. The entire case is flawed. It is past the statute of limitations. It was purely brought for political reasons. We know this. And when you bring DOJ officials onto the DA's office in a state court for felonies, it's a joke. There's so much wrong with this case. It should be completely admonished, the judge should be admonished, in my opinion, for not telling, recusing, number one, for not dismissing, and for continuing to waste taxpayer dollars. This is a joke and an atrocity that the American people and the city of New York is seeing it. That's why they've got crime, and that's why people are fleeing. And that makes us happy. I'm John Mike Keen. What do you guys think of Alina Hava? Let me know in the comments below. Are you still on Team Alina?